If your home gets its water supply from a private well, then chances are you have one of these babies sitting in your basement or utility room. Hi, I'm Mark Donovan from HomeEditionPlus.com, and today I'm going to talk to you about pressure tanks. Pressure tanks work in conjunction with your well pump to supply water to your home. Pressure tanks serve three main purposes. One, it ensures a constant supply or a constant pressure of water to the various plumbing fixtures throughout the home. Second, it acts to prolong the life of the submersible pump. And third, it acts as a holding tank for water uh, for the home. The pressure tank itself consists of two sections um, that's separated by a rubber diaphragm. In the upper portion is pressurized air, and the bottom half is actually for holding water. And what happens is your well um, sends water into the base of the pressure tank, and as it builds, it creates a pressure on the upper half of the tank. And that pressure um, is used to provide the constant flow of pressure to your faucets um, in showers within your home. At the heart of a pressure tank is the pressure switch. And what this does is sense when there's a need for adding water into the pressure tank um, and to determine when to shut off the flow of water into the pressure tank. And how it basically works is when somebody turns on a faucet and it runs for a while, the pressure reduces to somewhere around 20 to 30 psi. That tells the pressure switch to turn on the pump motor uh, to the well and water then rushes into the tank to fill it up. Once the pressure tank gets to somewhere around 40 to 60 psi, the pressure switch tells the well pump to turn off. And that is what acts to control the constant flow of water pressure within your home. Again, one of the main purposes of a pressure tank is to reduce the number of times the well pump has to turn on and off. The life of the well pump is directly proportional to the number of times it needs to be turned on and off. And so the bigger the tank you have, the less frequently that motor or pump has to turn on and off, and thus the life will be extended on the, on the well pump. Um, to determine if a pressure tank is bad or not, you just have to tap the top or tap the bottom, and you'll notice two different sounds, a hollow sound at top and a thudding sound at the bottom. This indicates that this uh, pressure tank is working properly. If you heard the thud sound, both top and bottom, then you would know water had actually filled up inside the entire tank, which indicates that the diaphragm is broken inside. When a situation like that occurs, it's time to get a new pressure tank. Um, in terms of getting a new pressure tank, there's a couple of metrics that you need to uh, be aware of. Number one, you're going to need to know the gallons per hour flow rate of the well pump. And number two, you're going to need to know the number of plumbing and uh, water spigot and kitchen type fixtures uh, that depend on this pressure tank. You take those two pieces of inf information to a, a plumbing store and they can then select the appropriate size tank for the needs um, and requirements of your home. So that's it on pressure tanks. If you have any other home improvement questions, visit us at homeeditionplus.com today.